Friends, it's Maria Romaine. I'm here at FAQ Friday and I want to answer a big question for you, especially right now, is why should I stay motivated in the winter? Why should I still work out and why should I still eat well uh, when it's cold out, when there's lots of layers of clothes to wear and when you know food is central to the family functions and the holidays are on the corner? I'll give you a big reason, and I experienced it yesterday, is that with work, you know, with family, with your life, nothing really stops. In fact, it just gets crazier. So if you're used to working out or if you're not used to working out, either way, it's going to be a really great outlet to continue to push through with your goals, your deadlines, the Christmas shopping list, etc. So I had a professor in college during finals. Of course, I studied health and exercise science, but he always told us, don't stop working out when you have your finals. Don't stop working out when it's the craziest time of the year because you're just going to go, you know, crazy. You won't have your outlet. Your anxiety will be through the roof and the blood won't be flowing and the endorphins won't be helping you out. So the best thing you can do is squeeze it in, figure it out, 30-minute walk, get fresh air, get your blood flowing, get the endorphins going because you trust me, you'll need it. Yesterday I took a day off and I was, you know, emotional and I, I figured probably a big reason was that I didn't realize my outlet was taken away from me and stress was piling on myself. I also had a coworker who knew the one big reason he had been experiencing some illness and some situations and side effects was because he didn't have his outlet. He had stopped working out for several days. So this is a prime example of during the holiday season with the you know cold outside don't stop because it's one of the craziest times of the year if not the craziest time of the year the same thing goes for eating well so if you start to eat food that um, just gives you these crashes like really really sugary food and then you crash and you don't have the energy you're just making it harder on yourself so my big rule is to indulge and splurge and treat yourself at the right time so for me I love my coworkers, but personally I don't want to do it at work because one I'm eating at my desk and two I would rather enjoy it with friends and family or three I'm not going to be productive at work um, and so that's a big thing so really look at what you're eating what you're going to be doing afterwards if you're going to be watching a football game on TV power to you I love Thanksgiving lounge around you deserve that downtime in fact that downtime might keep you from being sick and stressed out so enjoy it um, get your sleep when you're not getting your sleep, you feel it, you're tired, you grab things. I know my weakest moments are when I have fatigue. I'm not as accountable to myself. I kind of, that willpower goes out the window. And to continue to achieve your goals, you really have to work hard every day. And without proper sleep, you're going to be a lot less motivated too. And your metabolism won't be working efficiently. So those are three big things. We could talk about water, we could talk about all that. But don't stop working out. Don't stop eating well and don't stop sleeping, but these three things tend to happen during the holidays. So my advice to you is to find ways to make it non-negotiable, even if you have to take your breaks, like I took a break yesterday, but my trick was I worked out Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, took off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I have a plan. So plan. Plan for the days that if you do have to take it off because it's too crazy and you didn't get it done. Backup plan, backup plan, backup plan. Get friends to do it with you. Join a challenge group. I'm telling you, it works. You have people who will just give you suggestions on what to do and constantly motivating you. I have a challenge group coming up at or the day after Thanksgiving, deadlines tomorrow, but I also have a big one for 2013. I'm super pumped about that. Um, but anyway, my goals are to you is to, you know, work out, keep eating right, sleep, and don't let the holidays take over because it's only going to make things worse. So that's my advice to you. That's FAQ Friday. Three big reasons um, that you shouldn't, or some big reasons why you shouldn't give it up, and those are some three big things you need to concentrate on. Um, thanks for listening, and have a great weekend. Bye!